What's up guys? I am back to bring you your recap on Black Ink Crew Season 6 Episode 8 and it is titled The Lingerie Soiree. <laughs> Now let's begin with the fact that they raised enough money at Bay's Tattoo-a-thon to send her to Korea and others are going with her and I gagged because a few people were left out. So we have Sky, Caesar, Teddy, Kitty and Donna is going to Korea with Bay, and I was waiting to hear if Donna's name would be called because she is typically the one who was always left out when it's time to travel somewhere my guy so it did kind of melt my heart that Caesar felt that Donna should go along and I had no clue that Bay, Kitty and Donna were actually great friends. So it made sense for him to choose those people to come along. Also, it was so funny when they were in their Korean language class and the very thing that they all do, they cannot do in Korea. That is smoke marijuana, my God, and do tattoos. So it's going to be interesting seeing all of these people maneuver about in Korea next week, my God. So once again, Sky brings this Tatiana girl back. I feel like Tati Anna was hired or casted just to get beat up, my God, because she was in three fights since she has been on board, my God, with Black Ink Crew. So Tatiana came back. I thought she was in the right spirit, but clearly she wasn't because she did give Bay some great critiques on her work, which I had no clue how phenomenal Bay's tattoo artistry really is. And the Vagina Slayer, my God, um, his work isn't bad, but it is amateur in my opinion. But when it got down to Donna's, my God, I think everyone has a negative critique for Donna's tattoos, my God. So she should not even be surprised because it seemed like everyone else in the shop agreed with Tatiana, but they never spoke up because that blackout tattoo with the flowers was ugly and then that cupcake was horrible, my God. So although Tatiana was speaking the truth, it really was not her place for her to be coming back to make her presence more sincere and more soft and more open to getting to know everyone first before she begins to try to lay the law down, my God. But then it was no surprise that Tatiana's ass ended up in another fight, although she was a tad bit ready for this fight because Donna walked up on her, my God, and actually Tatiana threw the first hit. She slapped Donna in the face and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I was gagging for the fact that she was actually ready because Donna is usually ready to fight, my God. But I just wanna say that this episode had too much violence in it. I do not condone violence. So it was just too much fighting. Three fight scenes, my God, or two fight scenes or whatever it was. It was just too much fighting going down. But it ended up being that Tatiana got fired because Melody came back. Then Tatiana was no longer fired because Melody didn't want to be manager, my God. So it was a crazy episode. Now, since I'm already talking about Melody's return, my God, I may as well address it now. And Melody returned because she has not worked anywhere since she left and quit Black Ink. And Lilo pretty much said, girl, these bills are piling up. But it was so cute that Donna humbled herself, my God, and chose to go meet up with Melody and give her a sincere apology. One thing we know for sure is that Donna never owns up to her shit, but she definitely humbled herself to get Melody back. And it was so fun and cute that they all did the electric slide, I guess it was, in front of Lilo's tattoo shop just to show how much they wanted Melody back. And the cherry on top was seeing Vagina Slayer show some love and respect and give an apology to Melody as well. Next, let's address the lingerie soiree. Now, I was a tad bit thrown off and confused as to why Donna and Jada were having a housewarming party at an old apartment because if my recollection serves me correctly, Jada had already lived there. Her roommate either moved out or went somewhere out of town and Donna stepped in. So the point of the housewarming party was for what reason, my God? But the bigger issue at the housewarming party was no surprise to see that Donna ended up being in Jada's coochie, my God, whether it was her fingers or her tongue, she made it in there. 
and uh, walk through his temper tantrum. But I was confused as to why would these girls do this at this party with all of these people present. So I feel like Walt's reaction was probably contrived as well as Jada and Donna actually having sex at that moment. I do believe in my heart that Donna definitely hit it, my guy, because Donna is a thought and she takes down every man she can and every woman she can, my God. But it just didn't make sense for it to happen at that party with Walt there, especially after the amazing date and the amazing way that Walt treated Jada. But it was hilarious that Walt got so upset, my God, to begin flipping tables like a New Jersey housewife, my God. Now I must touch on the oh shit being back situation because I'm confused. I know a lot of my church members and subscribers commented saying that oh shit really is not broken up from Nikki on his Instagram or on her Instagram. They are still married and together and they have a daughter, a baby girl, my God. So I'm not sure if that's actually factual because I did not really care to go check and verify it. But the church members claim that that is the truth. So I'm going to take your word for it, my God. But it was so strange that at one point, oh shit was present in this episode. Then he just miraculously disappeared, my God. After he did his one tattoo on an old client of his who was trying to push up on him to see if he was going to look for a new boo or play the field. But if he's still with Nikki and only playing this up as a storyline, my God, I could see why he would lie and say he's playing the field because he really isn't looking for a new boo. Also, I want to say that I am so glad that we get to see scenes where Sky is still fighting for her son because she received positive critiques and so much backlash from people who were saying that, oh, she's getting what she deserved. She should have reached out to her kids sooner and so on and so forth, my God. But this does show sincerity for the simple fact that she is still trying and trying and trying and not going to give up uh, trying to make amends and have a relationship with her son, Genesis. But that's about it. And last but not least, I did want to acknowledge the fact that we saw Donna in this episode so many times with black hair, my God, and she looked gorgeous. I wish she would stop wearing this damn rainbow bright troll hair, my God, and just stick with the black because it compliments her, it compliments her skin, it compliments her tattoos. So Donna, please stick with this black hair, although I know you won't, but the black hair serves you well. But that's about it, guys. So please follow me on all social media outlets. Thumbs up this video. Comment down below in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.